This is gugma and kalipay. It means love and joy. Our goal behind this coloring book is to use for displaced people during the flash floods and the armed conflict so that they would have something to color as they address the emotions that they have during the, those times. Okay, these are two women pounding corn, children playing, mom and child, mom and child. So it's a different kind of artwork and you have to look intently to capture fishing. And as you will see, there are little lines inside wherein you could color it based on your imagination and it would give you time to reflect. It, it's intended for the children at first, but also adults could indulge in doing the lines and painting. As you start sketching and putting colors, it's just like your uh, stained glass and you create your own color and those little lines gives you some time to meditate and you can imagine and it just relaxes your mind as you color and you have to try it to see. We are using it right now for our trauma healing and also for the children to promote in the education in the public school. So we are trying to reach out so that the message of joy, peace, and love will be publicized through this coloring. It could pass the, just the Filipinized, but it could apply for international. As you could see, it seems like close to the First Nation art form in our country, in Canada. And I think that could be used also to reflect on the lives of our indigenous people here. I would like to encourage the Canadian children and parents to try using this at home, in your Sunday school, at school, and try to color pieces because you could use this a separate piece from the book and make it bigger and put it into a frame and it could be a nice uh, picture frame in your living room that you made, that you colored. And that's what we do in the Philippines.